In this tutorial, we will be discussing about sounds in the Source Filmmaker engine. Where the sounds are located, they are in the clip editor below. It has where you can import dialogue, music, or effects. You can add a new track if you want by right-clicking the sound strip. Add track and choose an option of channel, effects, or sound. To delete the soundtrack, right-click on it again then select it, Delete. To import a soundtrack, right-click the track, then select Add Clip to Track. This is where are all the sounds are located. Mod filter is all of the other's source games within Source Filmmaker. You can choose custom sounds from the user mod or the workshop. You can select all sound files or choose a specific sound file where it's located. You can choose a sound here and listen to what sound you want by selecting it. Soundtracks can be functioned the same way as the clips. Like press B to slice and copy and paste to the track and etc. If you hold down Ctrl, Alt and Shift at the same time, you can use the left mouse drag to make the sound slow or fast. It is possible to put custom sounds in Source Filmmaker in the Sounds User Mod folder. But a problem to that is, some sounds won't play and some sounds sounded glitchy. And some won't show up at all in the filter. There is a good reason why. You need Audacity for this to work, it's a free sound design program. It needs to be a WAV file, and the project rate needs to be exactly 44,100 Hz. And the format needs to be 16-bit PCM. Once you are done fixing the soundtrack, go to File. Then export it as a WAV file. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, User Mod, then Sound. Then override the sound to change, or make a new name and delete the old one. Now you can go back to Source Filmmaker, then right-click on the track. And select Add Clip to Track. Then go to the Mod Filter and find User Mod. Then test out the sound. So that's some of the basics of sounds in Source Filmmaker, and how to fix them. In another tutorial, we will be discussing about particles which might sound hard in theory, but I can show you how it's done to add particles in Source Filmmaker. Stay tuned for more tutorials along the way, and I will see you next time.